Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an error saying that your PC needs to be repaired and the error code might be 0xc0000428 on your Windows computer. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So in order to resolve this issue we're going to head into our BIOS utility. So you want to restart your computer, you want to do a hard power off, and you want to access your BIOS settings. Depending on your motherboard's manufacturer, it might be a little bit different depending on which key you're going to press. In my case, it's going to be the escape key I'm going to tap. So I'm going to do a hard power off, and then once I have the BIOS options up on the screen, I will be right back. Okay, so I have a boot menu options screen here. So your computer will look a little bit different more than likely, but we're trying to enter our setup. So I'm gonna use my arrow keys on my keyboard to scroll down until we're highlighted over the enter setup option. And then I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard. So this problem stems from your system date options here. So if I use my arrow keys to navigate, we can see the current date on the screen right here. And if the date's incorrect, we're going to be trying to change our values. So there will be a helpful little key at the bottom of the screen, and it might be different for you guys as well. We can see that the minus slash the plus sign will change the value of this option. So let's say the system date is not correct here. So if I go over it, and then I hit enter to select it. Sorry, guys. So if I go over here, if I wanted to change the month value, I just click on the plus key, which will increase the month or decrease it depending on if it's correct or not. And then in order to navigate over to the next item, I'm going to hit the enter key. So by hitting the enter key I can navigate within this specific screen. So don't get confused about that because if you use the arrow keys you're going to go over to a different tab. So if the date's not correct I just hit the enter and I can use the plus or minus keys to increase or decrease the date. So pretty simple. And then once you're done, I'd recommend using the arrow keys now to go over to the exit tab at the top. And then when you have exit and save changes, you can hit on the enter key on your keyboard, or you can use the key at the bottom of the screen that says save and exit, which happens to be our function 10 key. So I'm gonna hit that, and it says save configuration changes and exit now. You wanna hit enter when you're highlighted over the yes option. And then your computer should restart and hopefully this issue has gone away. And if you were trying to boot any kind of external media perhaps, or you were trying to get into your Windows operating system, it's been resolved at this point. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.